Hi, Tammy Dunbar here with today's Teachable Moment. Did you know that in PowerPoint you can drop out a picture? <laughs> What's a dropout? Well, that's when you get rid of the background. Sometimes when you bring an image into PowerPoint, you've got a really cool design on your slide, and you bring in that image with that white background, it just kind of, you know, doesn't look as great as it could. But PowerPoint offers you an opportunity to get rid of that background. So when you select the picture, you'll notice you get a new tab up here called Picture Tools. Click on Format and go all the way over to the left where you'll see something that says Remove Background. Now don't fret because it kind of makes its own decisions about what should be kept and what shouldn't. But now you can click on Mark Areas to Keep and you can... Ooh, that needs to stay. I need to see the bottom part of him. Looks like I can't see his broom. And so you can go through and you can get all the parts that you want to get. I can't always explain why it erases some of the things you don't think you think it shouldn't, but you can see you just have to work with it. And once you get the picture to where you want it to be, hey, he looks pretty good. Let's see if I can get her. Ah, almost all of her. Let's get that brush and her lovely shoulder almost and you can see I've got everything I want if I did something I didn't want if I said I want that oops then I can go backwards with the backwards button up here to the left and get rid of it or if I did something I didn't want I could click on mark areas to remove but once I'm happy with everything ooh, I can keep changes and there they are and I can put them right there in the PowerPoint and they look great and that's how you drop out a picture in a PowerPoint. What a great teachable moment.